Now let's do some politics. The opposition National Democratic Congress has lashed out at the Akufuado administration, describing it as the most nepotistic government in the 62-year history of Ghana. Addressing the media at the party's Moment of Truth conference addressed by the National Communications Officer of the party, Sami V, the party accused the Akufuado uh, government of normalizing the culture of nepotism in his government. The conference is a sixth in a series of engagements by the National Democratic Congress, dubbed Moments of Truth. The regular engagement, according to the National Democratic Congress, was to afford Ghanaians the opportunity to critically assess the performance of what it termed the deceptive and corrupt Akufado government in all areas of national life. Addressing the media at the party's headquarters, National Communications Officer Sami Jemfi criticized the president for refusing to heed his own promise of not operating a family and friends government. As fate will have it, the man who accused former President Mahama of nepotism now occupies the highest office of the land and has a chance to keep his own vow made to Guineans in 2016. And what do we see? His promise not to operate a family and a friend's government now lies in tatters. All right, so you had uh, Sami Jemfi, who's a National Communications Officer of the National Democratic Congress. I've just been joined in the studio by uh, Executive Director of the Dankwa Institute, uh, Richard Ahiagba, in the studio. Richard, thank you very much for your time. And uh, clearly, this is becoming a big issue because uh, the president, then in opposition, had accused the Mohammed led administration of... Uh, uh, operating a friends and family government, uh, we didn't expect that to happen. Well, uh, good evening to you. Good evening, sir. Um, I've uh, accepted to be on because I, I think that we have come to a place in our country where we need to be talking about how we move forward, uh, and that you make that conversation by talking about policy, which is what we do at the institute. Try to uh, support the development of the country through research and policy making. Uh, but uh, what we just saw, and I think I heard the, about the press conference late or when they were almost done, and uh, when you listen to the content of it, I think that we have reduced what should be a serious conversation to uh, just uh, mud slinging. And I think it's most unfortunate. I saw the Venerable uh, Dr. Ecospio Gabra seated, and I can only imagine how pained he is that his party is reduced to talking about these things. I find it, at this time, irrelevant to be having a conversation. You're, you're, suggesting, uh, uh, yes. you're suggesting that if there is evidence that um, over 51 people yeah. who are relatives or cronies of the president are in various positions, or occupy various positions in government, it should not be a matter for discussion. I am talking to you about the opportunity to advance our country. And I want to ask a critical question. To you as a news organization, what is the news value of what was done today? Well, when the then, uh, when Anado, who was in opposition then, yeah. had essentially spoken about how the then Mahama administration was running friends and family government, yeah. we found it newsworthy to report, okay. and so if the opposition today suggests that they have given, they, they, they have seen evidence which suggests that over 51 people who are friends and cronies of the president are occupying various positions within government, we should find it newsworthy as well. Of it course. is for you to either, uh, you know, admit it or deny it. Now let's follow your logic which right. you have established right. here, that it was right. newsworthy back mm. then yes. when we said yes. it, yes. which we can follow. Yes. And yes. the question is that when it was newsworthy, mm. what was the state of the country? You understand? Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to tell you here mm -hmm. is the impact of what was happening under the former president. You mean it so was that, so that, let's, let's follow this. Mm -hmm. So if we're saying that it was newsworthy then, mm -hmm. it was newsworthy because the mm -hmm. economy and the country was not doing well. So then it's relevant to find out who is in charge. But who what? was in charge what? Hold then? on, hold on, hold on. But who hold was on. in charge then? Hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. You just make a point. I'm not okay. going to name names. You okay. just told me yeah. that it no, was news. You had, you, please, you, please, you please. Had let's, let's follow your logic. Okay, hold on, hold sure, on. let's go ahead. You've mm -hmm. established for me mm -hmm. that it was newsworthy at the time when Absolutely. they said it. Absolutely. And so therefore, it should be newsworthy today. Absolutely. And I'm saying that let's follow that logic. Okay. And it says that when it was newsworthy then, mm -hmm. we knew 
it was important because the economy was not doing well. Mm. Okay? Mm. So then if that is the case, who is in charge? Why mm. is the economy not doing well? Mm. And we found out the people who were in charge. Mm. You understand? Mm. So now today, if you want to make the same argument, then mm. you ask yourself, mm. hold on, you ask yourself, mm. he was listing names, and I don't think those are relevant, but of course, if he wants to make You don't news, deny them, do you? No, I'm, it's not even material. Mm. But what I want to say is that mm. if it is now relevant to make that news, mm. then you put that side by side by the development of the mm. country to say mm. that if you compare before and now, mm. is the economy better or not? So you and that argument, right. that argument mm. is moot because mm. you have a better condition today. So that individual is making that argument mm. is only just throwing us to a point where we are losing focus, mm. which is why I told you that mm. we need to get to a point where we are focusing on how to solve the problem of this country. Mm. And one of the central problems we have mm. is employing our youth. Mm. Back then when the allegations were made and the relevance of it, you said, was, was newsworthy, mm. we saw that we had graduates uh, unemployed association, mm. right? Mm. But today we have moved from there. So I am inviting hold it, them. Hold, hold, it, on. hold it, hold, no, hold you, on. No, you hold it. Hold well, it. I, I, let me, no, let me no, finish no, my no, thought I, for no, you. No, you're suggesting that we had graduate, high graduate unemployment at the time. At the time, yes. And today that's no more? Well, you can tell me because you, you live in this you country. Have solved, you can you see. have resolved the problem of graduate unemployment. Okay, so so you you can tell me today mm. Mm, mm. that the economy before mm. and the economy today. Mm. Can you make any value I judgment? Do not, I do not doubt that, and especially okay. So the, so 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 so, yeah. you, so mm. we get to a point. Mm. So you don't doubt that, mm. and that doesn't just happen because. Mm. The economy on its own but, but just mind activated. You, mind you, so mind we you, get to a point you, let, where let me put this on record: that when the NDC took office in 2012, the first few years we recorded phenomenal. They took office in 2009, not 2012. In 2009, yes, we recorded phenomenal economic growth. Indeed, inflation, uh, um, GDP growth were quite impressive in the first few years of of the John Muhammad administration, which was with with Dr. Dufour as finance minister. What we've seen... You, you, you are not tracing the no, history it, well. It. It's I, 2009. I, I, I agree, 2009. Okay. Yes. So it yes. wasn't Muhammad... And then, and then when John Muhammad took office in 2012, in 2012 and 2016, we saw some deterioration in the economy, right? Where we recorded the twin deficit, fiscal deficit and all that. So you took office, and in the first term of the NADO, we're seeing impressive, impressive economic growth, inflation and all that. But you, that's just four years, Right. That's just four years. And you are hoping to go you're, another you're four years. You're getting yourself in a no, very money no, place. No, let that, me, let me just, explain the history to you. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. When, when uh, the former president, mm -hmm. uh, the late uh, Professor Mills mm -hmm. took office, mm -hmm. the economy was growing. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Close to about 8 point, uh, eight point something, above 8%. Figures, per, eight yeah, percent. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So they took a growing economy. Mm -hmm. Now, if fast, uh, fast forward 2016, when mm -hmm. we took over, we, we took over a shrinking economy. So right. the two situations I, I, are not I the same. Not that. So, so that, I so that, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm suggesting me... that you're also in your very first term. No, no, wait, wait. Yeah. I'm just, I just want to give mm. you the, the trend. Mm. So that if you have an economy that is growing, you have mm. momentum going mm. forward, mm. okay? Mm. That is in contrast to economy that was shrinking, mm. you have mo momentum mm. to the abyss. So now if you're able to turn that around and you have a growing economy, it's not the same thing as you are comparing 2009 to 2016. So, so what you're saying is that it doesn't matter if it is established that uh, over 50 people within government are friends or colleagues of the president. What matters to you is that the economy is growing. But the point is you should even make that judgment to say that what are you interested in? Are you interested in this country running or not? Where we have a situation where mm. this country is moving forward mm. now, but now, but, but, wait, you see, wait, but you see, but let, you see, let me but explain something. Even beyond see, that, mm -hmm. even beyond that, the issue of cronism mm. and um, family and friends yeah. breeds favoritism, which ultimately leads to corruption. That's why every government worldwide, you have to make sure that you do not encourage a situation where you have a lot, a lot of friends and families occupying positions because of the tendency of it breeding corruption and favoritism, and so. It's not just about. You know, let me tell it's you. not just about. It's not, it's not Look, about having good economic my brother, growth. Yes. It goes beyond that. Yes, and you my, must agree my brother, with let me. me. No, there's no need to agree even with that matter. Mm -hmm. What I've, I've established for you that mm -hmm. this debate or what a press conference they had today, mm -hmm. it has no policy and value. I'm to wait, you, it's wait, only wait, material wait. because you raised it in opposition. And I have told you. Have suggested you. Well, that hold on, that hold on. And I've showed you. You see, you, you mm -hmm. need to follow a sequence. Mm -hmm. So I've established to you that you're saying that. When we said in opposition, mm. it was newsworthy, so therefore you carried it, mm. right? Mm. I mean, you mean all the mm. networks. Mm. Now, and I'm saying that, yes, at that time, mm. it should be newsworthy because mm. our economy was tanking. But now you have a situation where the mm. economy is growing, mm. and you, you want a situation where the party 
that is mm. in opposition, mm. comes to the table with ideas how to move the country forward. Alternatively, mm. they are positioning themselves to rule this country again. Mm. And as a person from a policy standpoint, mm. I'm saying that bring your policy, let's talk about. For the eight years of the NDC, mm. okay? Mm. We want to see what policy ideas they brought. Let me ask you to a move the, well, Hold on, let me just mm. finish for you. Mm. What policy idea? Can mm. you tell me, mm. to debate right now on mm. this platform, mm. what policy mm. out of the eight years of mm. NDC mm. that is there for us to interrogate whether they mm. did it successfully or failed? Mm. None. Let me ask you Now, what I'm saying, mm. in this eight, uh, in this three, four years mm. of the MPP, mm. we are interested to say that, okay, let interrogate the policies of the MPP. Mm. If the NDC brings that, mm. we are interested to support to, to see that, okay, yeah, this government must be pushed to mm. do A, B, and C well. Mm. That is the frame we want to argue from. But these things that gives bad name to mm. press conference, I mm. tell you what, we as a country should not countenance that. Mm. It is a waste of our time. Let me and ask you a question. Because this, question. what it did today, mm. and you and I are spending time to discuss, mm. there is absolutely, mm. absolutely mm. no value mm. to it. According to and you. And that is unfortunate. According to you. Yes. Let me ask you a final question. And according to you we, too, because no, you I understand. Have, <laughs> you understand the logic to uh, say that no, if the economy was collapsing no, and that somebody who no, has his brothers well, and they were doing so, but they well, have a situation well, where they are making the, allegations you have to say that issue. you have an economy that is growing, so therefore the issue of brother, so you ask him, my, do you my, have a problem with very, the growing my economy? My very final question to you, sir, yeah. would you agree or would you support any law that seeks to bar uh, the appointment of family and friends into, you know, political positions? I, I don't know. I'm not in a position to make those conjecture or mm. more or less uh, speculative Situate comment. I'm not in mm. parliament, but if they propose it and people find value in it and they want to vote for it, fair enough. When he was saying it, he mentioned about as is done in other jurisdictions. Mm. I don't know what jurisdiction is talking about. Mm. We're sitting right here in the Americas, the best of places that we, we copy from. Mm. And we have a president with his daughter and rather a son in law and all that. Mm. It is not about that. It's so about you, performance. The most important thing is performance. Absolutely. Okay. Because what I'm interested in as a citizen is to say that do we have people? running TV3, that is going to produce the best. It doesn't matter if, if they're friends or family of, of the CEO of, so, of TV3. So, so, so let me tell you, the yeah. value, if there was any, mm. or there should be any, mm. is to come out today and do a press conference and say, Mr. So-and-so and so related to the president doesn't have any qualification to do A, B, and C. Okay. So then we are interested in saying, why yeah. we put people there who don't have qualification and they're doing nothing? You understand? But we have a situation where you left us a collapsing economy, and the economy has been shifted forward we as a people are interested in what alternative ideas okay. are out there right. for us to interrogate. Uh, That's got, what we're interested in. We've got to leave it here. Thank you very much, Richard Ahiagba. He is the executive director at the Dankwa Institute.